celebrate God. Celebrate Jesus. He's a good God. He's a good God. Thank you, worship team. Kindly may I invite Pastor Japheth to invite the minister of the word. Celebrate God as he comes. Amen. Somebody lift up your hands and appreciate Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you that God is here to change your life and to transform you. And just be ready for his transformation. What God is about to do in your life when all be termed and, uh, and, uh, and connected to the dreams of the Lord. And we are here to carry the manifestation of the Almighty God. You are here to walk and go and tell men what God can do. Because you are leaving this place as a sample of what God is going to do. As a sample of what God can do. Because indeed you will be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Something more than you expected is about to come your way. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I want you just to lift up your hand and say, Help me to receive the man of God, our senior pastor Timothy Kitui. Just lift up your hand, appreciate this man of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome, sir. Lift your hands above your head. This is an evening like no other this is an evening like no other just lift your hands above your head and tell god this is the evening of transformation that i have been waiting for this is a week of transformation this is a week in which foundations are dealt with this is a week in which liberty is defined. Just lift your hands above your head and tell God, this evening I choose to arrive in your presence with expectation. This evening I choose to arrive in your presence with expectation in my heart. I choose to arrive in your presence with expectation in my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus, tell Jesus I am here. I am here because I have found you. I am here because I have chosen I am here because I have found you. Make this your evening. Open your mouth and tell Jesus, I am expectant of you. I am expectant of you. It is my desire. It is my desire. It is my desire. It is my expectation. It is my expectation that tonight I have an encounter with you. That tonight I have an encounter with you. That you touch me yet again. In the name of our Lord Jesus, speak to Jesus. Tell Jesus this evening. This evening uh, is the evening uh, you have made and I approach your throne of mercy. I enter into your presence. Uh, I enter into your place of holiness. Uh, I enter into your throne of mercy. I sleep. Uh, I land at your feet uh, with an expectant heart uh, that this evening uh, I shall not be passed by. This evening, uh, an evening of transformation, an evening of change, an evening of change of pattern, an evening of change uh, of strength uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes, the glory of God is here with us. Yes, the glory of God is here with us. The glory of God is here with us. The cloud of the glory of God is here with us. The glory of God is here. The presence of God is here. The presence of God is here. It is here to change somebody's life. It is here to revive. It is here to give you a new trend. It is here to change a pattern. It is here to heal. It is here to recover. It is here to restore the glory of God. The glory of God is here in this house today. The cloud of the glory of God is here in this house today. Jehovah Yeshua, you are here. You are here. We can feel your presence. We can feel your presence. We can feel your presence. You are here for us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Messiah. Thank you, Jehovah, for allowing your glory, your glory, your glory. It is everything we need. Your presence is everything we need. Your presence is everything we came for. Your presence is everything we came for. Holy Jesus, Holy One of Israel. Just close your eyes. 
what succumbed to your peers what succumbed to your parents what succumbed to those that went ahead of you what delayed them foundations that fought them situations that they couldn't overcome today is a wednesday like no other the glory of god is here to change trends and patterns to change trends and patterns to wipe away tears i don't know where you are coming from but i know what god is up to i don't know what you are going through but i know what god is up to you are following us online i do not know what you have been fighting i do not know what you have been contending with i do not what has been know what has been suffocating your business i do not know what has been stagnating you are alive and the life of your fathers but the glory of God here on this altar today the fire of God here on this altar today the grace of God here on this altar today the presence of God in this house today is here to change your pattern lift your hands well above your head and receive what the Lord has to release for us today lift your hands above your head and receive what God has in store for us today JCC Thika Town Kiembo County the glory of God is here today and say Jehovah lift your voice and say Jehovah Jehovah eternal one you are the God of all creation there is none equal there is none similar you alone you alone are glorious in your kind you alone are mighty in your kind. Today, I surrender. Today, I give it all to you, the unchanging God, that you may change it. The endless God, that you may continue it. God, this evening, I have a date with you. Beloved God, this evening I have a date with you. This evening I look at you. This evening you are the center of my focus. This evening you are the voice I've been waiting for. This evening you are the answer that I seek. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mighty and everlasting God, a God, a Father, an authority, a mighty army, the Lord of hosts, the contender, 
The hand that slays the enemy, the sound and the voice that rocks and breaks the cedars of Kadeshan, that shakes the foundations of the earth, the foundation and the ultimate source of life. Jehovah God, that you will forgive us of our sins and transgressions, that you will free us from the chains of iniquity and the patterns of struggle and release us into mobility and acceptance and purity and holiness that you reignite in us the thirst and the hunger for holiness and righteousness that you reignite in us Lord this evening how I pray my Father and my God that you increase the fire of your spirit even as I advance in this prayer Jehovah God Almighty that tonight your move will be irresistible your move will be irresistible your move will be irresistible in the name of our Lord Jesus that you will rend the heavens this evening and allow a conduit of connection to be activated this evening in the name of our Lord Jesus that my father your children will receive what the heavens have ordained for them my father and my God you are not an orchestrator of confusion neither are you a waster of resources this evening you have gathered us for a reason and my father I pray against every expectation there will be an answer against every need there will be fulfillment against every desire there will be a solution in the name of the father in the name of the son my father that I step out of my body my mind and my soul to allow your grace to function let the graces of my fathers upon whose calling this altar has been released and has been raised my father I pray that let there be the flow of your power let there be a flow of your power in the lives of your children let there be a flow of your power this evening in the name of our Lord Jesus the miracles in store may they be found Jesus this is your service you are the greatest miracle function in your name among us us this evening in the name of the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit somebody celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate the most glorious God Celebrate the most powerful being ever. Celebrate the answer to your cry. Celebrate the lover of your life. Celebrate the giver of your breath. Celebrate the life changing God. The bread giver. The mighty healer. The great I am. The solution bearer. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You may have your seats in the presence of God. Welcome your neighbor on my behalf. Welcome your neighbor on my behalf. And tell them welcome to the Miracle Wednesday. And look at them and try to design. I'll request to have somebody on the keys throughout the ministration by the grace of God. Celebrate the worship team together with the band for the amazing job they are doing to be found in the house of God on such days as today. Receive greetings from our father, Reverend Dr. Calvin Ephraim. Receive greetings from our father, the grace of God that God has allowed to speak in our lives. And if you a new at JC Sithika. Look at the lives of those that came ahead of you and know that you are at the right place and know that in this place overtaking is allowed. Look at the lives of the people that are ahead of you. Either it is in business, financially, academic and tell God thank you for bringing me here because I'll be better than what I see today. So appreciate Papa together with Mama. Wherever they are, I know they are following us online. Show some love for our parents. We love you wherever you are. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord preserve you for us. May the Lord re-energize you. 
for the sake of the greater calling that God has bestowed in your hands. Even for our sake and our children's sake and for the sake of this nation and the nations that have been summoned under the care and the pastoral leadership of you. We love you and we know that God has raised an army in support of your vision. Amen. We thank God because of the team, the church that is following us online. Just stand at an angle and wave at the church online. There is a church online whose usher is MC Awesome behind there. He is the lead usher for the online church. The online church, welcome to our Miracle Wednesday. This is JCC Thika. In this place, we love you. This is a home of solutions and wonders. And in this place, everybody is somebody. And should you find time, anytime you're around Thika, this church is open 24-7 for prayer and miracle services on Wednesdays and lunch hour services and Sunday services to the glory of God. I have very few minutes and allow me in these very few minutes to bring to us what the Lord has in store for us. The Lord is up to something great in everybody's life because we are God's own investment. And because God is not a waster of resources, God did not create you to be a monument. God did not create you to be part of the physical features that people can see. God did not create you so that when people pass, say, Niliona wa tuwengi, we shall not be counted among the multitudes. God created us for a divine reason and purpose. And he declared upon our creation that we shall be fruitful, we shall multiply, we shall fill the earth, and we shall subdue it. And so we have been called into a kingdom of fruitfulness. We have been called into a kingdom of impact. We have been called into a kingdom in which we represent the glory of God. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you are the trophy of the glory of God. You are here to represent the glory of God. And when that is fully functional, when that has finally come to manifest, allow me let you know this evening that when that has fully manifested, you as an individual, people shall look at you and see the glory of God. Your outfits will show the glory of God. Your children will show the glory of God. Your business will show the glory of God. Businesses that show the glory of God have more savings than loans. Families that show the glory of God have more celebrations than burials. Houses that show the glory of God have more growth than decrease in the name of our Lord Jesus. And because you have been called to function as a trophy of the glory of God. Allow me decree and declare to you before we begin the word of God that may that be your word in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your family show the glory of God in continuity. May your marriage show the glory of God in stability. May your business show the glory of God in savings in the name of our Lord Jesus. May your academia show the glory of God by rewarding you. It is not about the number of degrees that you have but the impact the degrees that you are carrying have in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You would rather have us, you would rather be a CEO of a multi billion organization holding a diploma than be a road walker and a tamaka in pursuit of a job with a PhD. In the name of our Lord Jesus, may there be result to every investment that you make in this life. May there be healing where everything was ailing in your life. May you show the glory of God. God. Is not a man. We don't just say that because we know that he is different from man. We also say that because what keeps God going is not what keeps man going. Amen. If there is anything God feeds on, selfishly so, is his glory. And that is why in Revelation, if we are to overcome besides the blood of the lamb and the anointing, it will be by the testimony of our mouth we will overcome. It is by the testimony of our mouth God feeds on his glory. Amen. And it is my prayer that you will have God's food every day. There will be a reason for God to be glorified where you stay. When you enter a public place, let people find a reason to glorify your God. Amen. Allow me in the next few minutes to bring to us the word of God according to the holy leadership of the spirit of God. And today I'm inspired of the Lord to share with us very briefly about a subject that I have given a title 
Did you welcome your neighbor? Did we wave at the church online? Did we? Okay. Thank you very much. We are a loving church. We are family. And so you should always remind me anytime we forget. Amen. So today, if you are writing, write trends erased and rewritten. Trends erased and rewritten. Trends erased and rewritten. We live in a world where writing is permanent. And that is why anytime you tell somebody something and they do not believe in it, they ask you, imeandikwa wapi? Who has heard that? Hiyo imefanya nini? Kwani imeandikwa wapi ya kwamba wewe ndio? So that means once it is written, it has to happen. Kwani iliandikwa wapi ati wewe ndio sasa utakuwa kwani imeandikwa wapi? And even Jesus did not overcome the devil by fight though he is mighty in power he is god he reminded the devil of what is written and the devil fled ask your neighbor what is written about you a lot is written in the bible and we claim that that is my word we connect with it we claim that word by faith is because life has a way of writing people's names Life has a way of writing your name whether you speak or you are silent you will have a name in somebody's head right now people that are looking at me and do not know me have an imagination of how they can refer to me after this service people that borrow in a bank have a name people that ail of a certain disease in a hospital have a name people that run a particular type of business have a name people that teach at the university have a name people that serve in church have a name people that struggle have a name and people that are celebrating have a name and people that play games have a name and whenever you don't work very hard or trends are not changed in your life your father's name takes preeminence and for ladies unless you get married your father's name is your sir name you will be an joroge until the day you decide to say yes i do to onyango you become an onyango names are written character is written and everything that is powerless can only be named according to its character its lifestyle and whatever it can produce that is known and so check in your language and you will discover that animals that produce the sound cock cock were called cocks and birds that produce the sound sui sui were called sui sui and every animal check the name of the animals in your home in your mother tongue and you'll discover they are called by the sounds they produce and you may not know your name i'm talking about the glory what people see is what they call you there are people no matter how you try to present yourself as a gentleman nobody will refer to you as a gentleman there are places you will go you are very young and people will call you mze and you'll discover that mze may not have anything to do with age but sometimes it may have something to do with your pocket amen and impact hapo mze hatakubali when you hear that we are not talking about age amen and we have been called into the kingdom where unless some things are rewritten we might not identify well with where we belong amen 
I want you to be very attentive in the next 30 minutes as I come to you in this word because this is a transformation service. This is a pattern changing service as ordained by the spirit of God. Some trends must change. Some names this evening will be erased and rewritten. Where you are known as a beggar, it has to be erased and be rewritten as a lender. Where you are known as a stubborn tenant, that name has to be erased and be rewritten as landlord. Where you are known as a serious beggar, that name should be erased and be rewritten. I'm not making you happy. I'm saying the will of God. Shall we read? There was a time when Jesus ascended to the mountain. The mountain at the moment of transfiguration. And at that time Jesus ascended. He chose a few among his disciples. And he decided to ascend with them. Because it was his time. To be transfigured. It was his time for a trend to be erased and rewritten. And so shall we read together in the book of Luke 9, 28, verse 36, verse 28 up to 36, Luke 9, 28. Now, it came to pass about eight days after these sayings that he took Peter, John, and James and went up on the mountain to pray. What did they go to do? What did you come to do today? I don't know. You know. As he prayed, the appearance of his face altered. Tell your neighbor alteration. As he prayed, the appearance of his face altered and his robe became white and glistening. Verse 30. And behold, two men talked with him who were Moses and Elijah. 31. Who appeared in glory and spoke of his disease which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and those with him were heavy with sleep. They were not just sleeping. They were heavy with sleep. Have you ever been heavy with sleep? There's a difference. You, you know, when you are heavy with sleep, have you ever seen people who sleep and they deny it? And they deny it, especially when you are watching a movie and all of a sudden something takes over and they are there and they are not there. Because it is, it is heavy. You are heavy with sleep. They were heavy with sleep. Like some people choose to be heavy. I want to show you something today. Why some things don't get erased. Sometimes when we really desire. When they were fully awake. So that means they were heavy with sleep. And even when they began working, waking up. So it only happened when they were fully awake. They saw his glory. And the two men who stood with him. Did they hear what the men told Jesus? I want to hear you. Did they hear what the men told Jesus? No, they did not. Did they know what Jesus told them? Spoke to Elijah and Moses? No, they did not. They were heavy with sleep. But now they, then it happened as they were parting from him that Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Sasa ule mtu alikuwa melala ajui kile kilikuwa kinafanyika ameamuka na naanza kutoa mpango. Have you ever known how serious a parade of ignorance it is to wake up and begin to tell people what they ought to do and how they ought to do it when you have never been through what they are going through? Have you ever known how ugly and awkward it looks to become a motivational speaker in a subject that you know so little about? Recently, Papa made a post on Facebook and he said, he was just giving counsel and he said, before you really advise about marriage, try one, in my words. And you know, there was everybody saying this and saying that. But the point is, do you know how seriously it is a parade of ignorance to begin guiding people on a road you have never been through? So this guy was not only sleep, he was heavy with sleep. 
So he wakes up from sleep and he begins to advise Jesus. Begins to say Jesus, sasa hapa ndio tunafaa tukae. And as if that is not enough, he said, and let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. Amen. Tell your neighbor, trends erased and rewritten. Unless you are conscious, unless you are keen, unless you are following to know what has been rewritten, to know what has been written, do not wake up and start saying that is my word and that is my word and that is my word. A word should fall on expectation. A word should fall on a fertile ground and that is why we have been called into a kingdom of fruitfulness. A kingdom of fruitfulness is a kingdom of sowing. There are no fruits without seeds. And any fruit that tries to come out of a tree that is not planted of a seed, even scientists call it a false fruit. Like in a banana, false fruit. Scientists who don't know the Bible, they know that we have true fruits and false fruits. Any fruit that does not have seed is not grown from a seed. That one is false. If you see things hanging on a cassava tree and they look like fruits, they are not fruits. They are false fruits because they don't carry seed. Amen. And so at this time, this is a time when Jesus is manifesting in a different glory. Jesus is now ready to fulfill the purpose for which he was sent. Like you could be ready today to fulfill the purpose for which you are sent here on earth. You are not sent here on earth to exist. You are not a form of existence. You are not a type of being. You are here for a purpose that was designed before you were created. God created everything and said, now let us Create man in our own image and likeness. And there was purpose. There was an assignment. And you are here because of God's agenda. You could be working in that company. But you are there because of God's agenda in that company. Never walk like you are walking alone. Never wake up and face the day like you faced it yesterday. You need to know that there is always an assignment upon your life. Upon your walk. Upon your indulgences. And upon everything that you touch in this life. Because you are not sent here to exist. You are not sent here to be counted a among many. You are not here so that when your biography of your father is written they write that he had seven daughters and seven sons. You are not here to belong to a list. You are here to serve purpose. You are here to function. You are here on an assignment. The kingdom of God has an agenda over your life and an impact to cause in this life before you go back. We are not here to belong to registers. Lift your hand and say Jesus. I'm not here to create crowds. We, we are at a time when politicians are hiring people to form crowds so that they deceive others that they have numbers. We are not here to create numbers. We are here to cause impact. And when God's agenda is what you choose to function on, you like it or not, your trend will always be upward. When Moses got to a place where he acted like he was tired, I'm not sure he was, but he acted like he was tired. You know, Moses had one weakness. That weakness was called what? Anger. Alikuwa na serious son. But when that weakness dared to step on God's agenda, God finished him instantly and picked Joshua so that the agenda of God can do what? Can go on. God's not my someone. So let us read. Let us read in uh, Isaiah 43:25. Isaiah 43:25. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, "I even I Mimi hata Mimi am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake." Why does God Blot out your transgressions for his own sake. Why does God erase your bad history for his own sake? It's not for your sake. It's about God's agenda and not your agenda. 
If you are a singer in this world and you sing and you sing for God, you prove to God it is about God's agenda. Your ministry will always have a positive trajectory because it is God's agenda. When you wake up and prove to God that if you give me one child, let that one child be Samuel and that child I'll give him back to you. He will serve you as a prophet. God will give you that miracle instant because it's about his agenda. Now you're wondering why some patterns have never fallen in your life. If you are saying that I want God to bless me so that I teach them a lesson. God is not in the process of teaching others a lesson using you. God has an agenda. If it will glorify his name, you have every reason to receive it tonight. If what you are believing in God for this evening, if that trend change is what is glorifying the name of God, is in line with his agenda about this generation and this life, believe you me, your time has come. Because it's about his agenda. And God's agenda has to manifest. From my own sake and I will not remember your sins for my own sake because I want to be glorified for my own what? sake verse 26 verse 26 put me in remembrance let us be counted together who is saying? who is saying? God let us contend together let us put me in your case so that we contend together. Ha. Let me tell you, child of God, in the will of God, in God's agenda, this evening today I announce to you, if it is in God's agenda, you are not alone. If it is in God's agenda, you are not in that case alone. He said, let us contend together. May those that contend with you know that you are not contending alone. This evening you contend together with Jesus because of his own sake, because of his own glory. State your case and you will be acquitted. I don't know who is getting acquitted tonight. I don't know who is getting acquitted of false accusations tonight. I don't know who is getting acquitted of cancer and condemnation about disease tonight. I don't know who is getting acquitted of joblessness tonight. I don't know who is getting acquitted of struggle in life tonight. Allow me remind you today. He says put me in your case. Let us contend together. Set your case and it shall be acquitted. In the name of our Lord Jesus. He says I am the one and even I who blots away. Blotting. That means the ink writings that were very clear about your life. He blots them away so that you cannot remember. There is a way people write you in their lives. There is a way you have been written in some shrine somewhere. There is a way some words were spoken to your forefathers. There is a way and you are not aware you are not aware that there is no professor in your family. You are not aware that there is no millionaire in your family. You are not aware that there is no international citizen in your family. Today I want to remind you that he tells Isaiah, I am even I. I am he who blots out and cancels all your transgressions. Ni mimi ni ya futai. He is the one with the power to erase what has been written about your life. He is the one who is able to rewrite. He is the one who is able to blot away what was written about your marriage. He is the one who is able to blot away what was written about your career. He is the one who is able to blot away what was written about your health. It is not a common pattern that people suffer asthma and cancer, that people suffer diabetes, that people die of HIV and AIDS. He is the one when it was written that we will die of coronavirus like roaches, he is the one who blots away. Let me tell you, those transgressions are blotted away for his own glory, for his own sake. And that is why tonight some trends must be erased and rewritten. Tonight, as the Lord tarries, Tonight, if on this altar, the Spirit of God is functioning, 
and manifesting at its full capacity. I want you to know and that I am sure that trends must be erased and must be rewritten in the name of our Lord Jesus. It suffocated your fathers. It suffocated your uncles and your aunties. It suffocated your classmates. I want you to know that that trend must be erased tonight and it will be rewritten for God's sake, for God's own glory through you as he glorifies his name. As the Lord tarries tonight, I don't know what is being written afresh about your life. I don't know what's being written afresh about your life. Lift your hand and say, Jesus, say, Jesus, I give it to you. The trend in my life, the trend in my family, the trend in my career, the trend in my family, the trend in my house, the trend in my finances, the trend in my bank. I give it to you. Erase it and rewrite it in a way that it will glorify your name. Erase it and rewrite it in a way that it will glorify your name in Jesus name. If God himself cannot remember. And that is why he says. The years. That were eaten. By the caterpillars. And cacaworms. I will restore. He does not restore the food that was eaten. He knows. Caterpillars eat time. They eat time. You are to be married at 22. When you are very beautiful. Now at 47, that's when you are showing up in a wedding gown that has been adjusted seven times according to the number of days that you are fasting in preparation for the wedding day. But listen, child of God, it doesn't matter how long it tarried to manifest in your life. It doesn't matter for how long they have called you that name. It doesn't matter for how long they have called you by your father's name who was a thief. Your father who was a witch. Wale watoto. Wamze good luck. Havakala. Ambaye alikuwa nakimbia usiku. Mchunge sana huyu. Usiku wa nalala paka asubuhi yama anaonge. Those names. I don't know what social media is calling you today. I don't know. How people perceive you today. I don't know how your company is looking at you today. I don't know how. Let me tell you child of God. The Bible says. We have been called that our light will shine brighter each and every new day. And we are going to read that. Brighter each and every new day. That means how you are shining when you are 12 and 13 and 14 and 20 and 30 and 32. It has to be brighter than the previous day. Because we have been called and that is our trend. Our trend is our bulbs can never grow dim. Our bulbs can never go dim. They can never be overshadowed. The darker the night, the brighter we shine. The harder the situation, the harder we become. We are seasoned for it. We are equal to it. We have what it takes. We have everything we need to come to overcome and to become better than we were yesterday. We have been called into a kingdom of showing and manifesting the glory of God that is better than we were coming from. Where we were yesterday has nothing to do with where we are today. And where we are today is not a reflection of where we are going to be tomorrow because we have been called to shine brighter and brighter. And I decree today in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, may you shine better than you did yesterday. This is what the Bible says. Give me Proverbs 4.18. The Bible says, But the path of the just, the path of who? The just, the path. Can I have another phone? This one is not talking to me. The path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter into the perfect day. Ever brighter into the perfect day. That means we have been called into a trend of an upward trend. If your graph was to show your life, we have to see a positive trajectory. 
We have to see everything on the increase. We have to see your health on the increase. We have to see your finances on the increase. We have to see your career on the increase. We have not been called to be company secretaries until we retire. Until our retirement benefits are equal to the job group that we were employed when we got employed. We have been called to shine brighter than we ever did yesterday. That is why the Bible says, and the latter glory shall be greater than the former. We have been called to shine brighter. So tonight some trends are getting erased and new trends are getting rewritten. Whatever the evil altar has condemned you to from where you are coming from. Whatever peer pressure has condemned you to. Whatever your first boyfriend condemned you to. We are erasing it tonight and we are rewriting it tonight by the right hand of God. The one who blots away and rewrites it again. You know, there is this prayer we make when we are giving our lives to Jesus. And the man of God will always lead us and say, erase my name from the book of death and write my name. In the book of life. And John the revelator writes and says. And I saw. Books were opened. And the book. Was opened. And whosoever's name. Was not found in the book. Of life. They were condemned. Tonight we are going to remain. Only one person. We are going to remind the devil about his destiny. It is only the devil whose destiny is known. The devil's destiny is a lake of fire. And we are reminding him that tonight. But your destiny is not in hell. And neither is it to struggle here on earth. Your life has to grow. And you see the kingdom of God. You live a just life. It's not only for the sake of the kingdom of God, but for the sake of you shining his glory each and every new day. Shall we read the last scripture? Then we pray. Open with me what David writes. The book of David, Psalm 84, verse 7. Oh, thank you. Before you go, Haggai 2, 9. The glory of the latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace says the Lord of hosts. <laughs> In the place with a greater glory, I'll give peace. There is a direct relationship between glory and peace. Amen. Don't be deceived. If your wealth comes from God, it will give you peace. Don't be deceived. Don't be, don't be deceived. If your wealth comes from God, it will give you peace. Psalm 84. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. Why are they growing from strength to strength? Because they have to appear before God. God's interest, God's desire is to see you grow. Is to see you get established. Is to see you manifest his glory. God is not ready to be mocked for your sake. He will not allow it. You show up and you tell God, I am ready. Rewrite my story. It will be rewritten for his own glory. Tell God, God, I don't think you are glorified enough when people see me trekking. He gives you a mega ride. Amen. Hallelujah. A few years ago when COVID landed, when we were still stigmatizing people and we were condemning people into, uh, it's not solitary, we were condemning people into, into quarantine. And if you are found, and then there is contact tracing that you are found in that vehicle, and in that vehicle there was also so and so, who was also from so and so. Na ukanunua skuma kwa mama kaya hii, na mama kaya hii kumbe na yali kwa meenda sokoni mudhurua, wanafuata kila mtu ambaye alipatikana kwa huo mkondo, wanawe kwa wote Kenya Medical School quarantine. The devil is a liar. Thank you, Pastor Lucas. So I also contracted COVID during that time. And so I said, because I'm born again, I'll tell my landlord so that I, he can tell my neighbors that behold, there is someone that is COVID positive in this estate. Be on the lookout. Do not allow your children to play with his children. Do not visit him. Do not touch what he touches. Stay away. 
So I reached out to the landlord who was also careful about his life considering his age and the theories that were going there about. And so I told him at six in the evening, he called me back at seven to tell me he's allowed me to move out even if I do not have enough money to clear the rent. He's allowed me to move out the next day. And I said, it is well. And he called me back at 8 p.m. To, to remind me that I should leave by 6 in the morning. And I should not let anyone know. Because there will be anxiety. And people, you know, the government will come and lock this house. There was all that drama at that time. Because that's how everything was getting written. So, sons and daughters at JCC Thika had to move out at 6 in the morning. Coughing and struggling to breathe. We moved out and went to Mala, where I had bought some small piece of land and erected a small house that I was not serious to build. It had no windows and everything, but I moved in there. Went there and in isolation and nobody was visiting and there was no electricity, there were no lights, there was no water, there was no fence, there was no shower. We were taking a shower outside in the night like night runners and the wind in Ukambani blows at it as it whistles. And we were there taking a shower only by night. And with my children, we have been condemned into isolation and nobody's visiting. And if somebody brings us Kumawiki from the market, they put it out there in the field. And there was no construction. We had no neighbors. We had hyenas that made the sound by night. And that was our home. But I did not know that God wanted to glorify his name. In that season when we were jobless and we had been declared redundant and there was no business, there were no concerts, there was no nothing to bring in income. God completed that house, gave us a perimeter wall, gave us a servant's quarter, finished the house, gave us water, gave us solar and gave us a home. And so today, if I ever talk to my former landlord, we will be discussing about contractors that are known to choose the right structures and systems that make buildings stable. And if it hadn't come COVID, I would still be paying rent. Amen. And I decided to connect with what was happening at the altar where I serve and where I pray and where I lay my sacrifice at JCC Thika. And before that COVID was over, we also moved from that old church where we were condemned to rent paying that was a recovery and a restoration of a garbage collection center. And we moved to this place thanks to COVID. When they opened all churches, they opened this one. When the government said now churches can function fully. Yes, we had a church. Hallelujah. Now, where I come from, because I come from the place of God, that's where people clap for Jesus. I do not know what it is you are contending with today. Jesus, for the sake of erasing that trend and rewriting it for you, is saying, bring me in your case. Let us contend together. Let us. I am the one. Even me. Even I. He who blots away. He rewrites. He erases and rewrites. He erases what people made you believe you are. And rewrites it afresh. He erases what you have been known for. And gives you a new brand. So that when you show up people don't see you. They see God. They wonder which God is that you praise. I don't know what happens when you begin serving God and you allow him to manifest in your life. Hata nikivaa kinyasa na t-shirt nikienda garage, people know I'm a pastor. Say, hello pastor. So you are looking around to find out where is it written that I'm a pastor. I got a new office and before I realized it, everybody was aware that there is a pastor in that place. So when people have sick children and it is too late to get to hospital, they show up at that office. They have never greeted me as I walk in, but they show up because Amen. Like some people who will never greet you, you will never know they have always had your number. You will never know. When trouble knocks, Simu inalia. Man of God. Amen. Stand on your feet.
this night the lord speaks the lord is erasing and rewriting trends in people's lives do not be left out the lord is erasing and rewriting trends in people's life i don't know what it is that you want the lord to erase in your life some of us it is indebtedness some of us are the loans that have defined us some of us it is struggle in school some of us it is struggle to get settled socially some of us it is struggle in our businesses in our investments the lord is here to rewrite if you are following us online wherever you are feel free to drop an inbox and say what it is you are trusting god that it gets erased in your life there are patterns that have to be erased your night and today we want to face pharaoh with the fullest of courage and the fullest in all audacity and tell pharaoh let the people of god go whatever it is that has dwelled that has sat on your breakthrough that has sat on your career that has sat on your investment that has sat on your strategies whatever it is that has sat on your plans whatever it is that has limited you we are here to speak to it in all courage in the voice of he that blots away our transgression in the name of he that contends with us let the people of god go in the name of our lord jesus christ if you are there and you are trusting god let me have a few worshipers on the altar even if it will be two and i'll request the band to be back i've saved this 10 minutes so that we can do this i've saved this 10 minutes so that we can do this if you are there and you are trusting god for a trend to be erased in your life you are trusting god for a pattern to be erased and rewritten in your life oh, jesus christ Jesus <laughs> Lift your hands wherever you are lift your hands lift your hands He is here to contend with you. He is here to hold your hands as we and do what was written against your life as he erases what was written against your life and rewrites it afresh. Jesus Worship you, Lion of Judah. We worship you, Lion of Judah. Worship you, Jesus, Lion of Judah, triumph. Contend with us. Hold our hands in this battle. Erase it. Erase it. Rewrite it. Blood it away. for a train to be erased you are trusting god for a train to be erased come to the altar right now you are trusting god for a pattern to change come to the altar right now he and even he 
that blots away he that erases away he that changes stories he that gives new songs he is here he is here been trusting God that patterns be rewritten. Today I'm inviting you into this place. I'm inviting you into that place where stories are rewritten. 
where the Lord contends with you. You shall never go alone again. You will walk with God. You will never be alone again. He will hold your hand. He says, invite me, bring your case and you will be acquitted. Bring your case and you will be acquitted. I don't know what is lying in court on your name. I don't know accusations that have been waged against you. He says, bring your case and it shall be rewritten. There are trends in our lives. There are patterns in our families. There is a name. There is what has been known. There is a brand that has been associated with you. Associated with your family. Associated with your business. Associated with your career. The Lord is rewriting it. There is a brand that has been associated with your business and your ministry. The Lord is erasing it and rewriting it again. There is a brand that is known to carry your name and your family where you stay. The Lord is erasing it and rewriting it. There is what has been known to be associated with people that went to school with you. With people that come from the same village as you do. With people that stay with you. The Lord is erasing it and rewriting it afresh for his own sake. Invite the Lord to contend with you. Get into your pocket and get an offering for the Lord. Get into your pocket and get a sacrifice for the Lord. Get into your pocket and get a seed for the Lord. Get into a, and get something for the Lord. Get something for the Lord. Today we are giving sacrificially. And if you are here and you want to pay your tithe, envelopes are right there. Just lift your hand and you will be served. If you are here and you are here to bring back the covenant partnership, uh, sacrifice as you partner with the ministry, lift your hand and you will be given an envelope. Lift your, your, your sacrifices and your offerings and your givings in the hand. Lift your hand above as we make this prayer. As the Lord takes charge, as the Lord takes over. Bring me my phone so that I can also give. I want to be part of this. I want to be part of this journey. I want to also witness a trend change in my life. If you are giving and you are trusting God for your trend to be erased and rewritten, lift it up above your head. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the hands of your children, as sacrifices, seeds, and offerings, Lord, we present to you that my father, you that shall not despise, but has loving compassion for all your children, will receive it. Even as we believe you, that Lord, our patterns will change. Lord, trends will be erased and rewritten to the glory of your name. My father, may they sing a new song. May their mouth be full of praise. May there be a change that is remarkable undisputed, irresistible and obvious that it may glorify your name across the earth. Now lift your offering. Lord, as we give to you, we pray that Lord, you have taught us and reminded us that we should not come into your presence empty handed and Lord, we honor your word and we give because you have blessed us and we pray that Lord, you honor your word and be glorified in our endeavors in Jesus' name.